exist anymore. For almost 30 years now. Do you know of the Echelon program dating back to 1990? 1900 when? No, sorry, I don't. Well, you see, I know about it. And you can be sure that I've been watching very closely. Very closely. Yeah, well, that is all very nice. After all, it's your life. And yours. I've heard of the Echelon system. I think it was some kind of supercomputer the NSA had um, designed to monitor global communications to spy on people. It's supposed to be a myth, I'm not sure. Sounds plausible though, given the government, you know. There is something else. Can I ask you something else? Of course, just ask. Isn't it illegal to sell these printed books? Maybe. These books are not scanned, right? I'm of the opinion that non-scanned books are just as interesting as scanned ones, if not even more interesting. But this way, these books are not really available to everybody. That way you make information, once again, private property. It becomes luxury for privileged people only. The law about the electronic gathering of printed material is supposed to... To democratize the written word. Is that what you mean? But of course, that's how it actually is. Actually, you would have to turn these books into the Department of Communications so they can get scanned. Afterwards, you will actually get them back. Nobody has ever gotten books back from the Department of Communications. And not even a tenth of the books have appeared online. Yeah, well, that's because it will take some time until everything will be fed into the system. As time goes by, there are just more and more additions, so we have to have a little patience. It's rather astounding how effective this propaganda still is. The law on electronic registration is a censorship measure, disguised as democratization of information, my son. You're serious about this, aren't you? Don't let yourself be deceived by the lies on the telescreens and the cheap slogans of the dumb yuppies and the communication agencies. I... Yes? Um, no, it's okay. I'm keeping hold of my books in any case. You can read them anytime you want, here and now. I sound like Peter's a bit gullible, you know. Oh yes, we'll give them all of our books, and the reason they're taking them is to make them available for everybody. Um, mm, yeah, kind of sounds like they're taking them and burning them. Sounds Nazi-ish to me. But who hum? Can I ask you some? Of course, just ask. Do you have many customers? I would assume that, especially here in Greenwich, you should have a potentially well-off clientele. What makes you think that? I sell almost nothing. But that's not important. I have the things I love around me. What use would they be in the sterile apartment of some yuppie who has no sense for the, the soul of things? Oh, I understand. But how do you manage to get by then? And besides, the shop is costing you money as well. The house belongs to me. The government bureaucrats were kind enough to give it to me in exchange for my departure from the Lower East Side. How long have you had this shop? I started in 2018 with a shop in the Lower East Side. Back then it was still a decent place, you know. In 2032 I had to move because the government had ordered the restructuring of the area. Yeah, I heard about that. Since then, the shop has been here. I've redesigned it to look exactly as it was on the Lower East Side. Did you get a chance recently to take a look around the Lower East Side? Oh yes, I was there a couple of years ago. Terrible! The whole area's fallen apart. The houses look like something out of Europe just after the Second World War. And the only people in the streets are criminals. It's a tragedy what they did to that part of the city. Can I ask you something else? Of course, just ask. Ah, here we go. I'm looking for a certain device. One with which I can play back old magnetic tape cassettes. Oh, you mean a VCR? Yeah, probably. That's amazing. Yeah, I know. Not a single soul has a thing like that. Nobody seems to need something like that anymore. But I do need one. That's not what I mean. I'm amazed because you're the second customer in two weeks who's wanted to buy such equipment. And you're also the second in the last ten years. Another customer? You wouldn't happen to still know his name? No. 
He didn't tell me. But he didn't actually buy a VCR. He bought a video camera instead. And a tape. Hmm. That would be really more than... a strange coincidence. Well then, do you still have a VCR then? I think so. But I'm not totally sure where it is. You can see how things are here. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'll go and look around right now. And if there is one here, I'll find it. Oh, God. I have to go. I'll see you later. Okay. See you soon, Mr. Wright. I have to go dig through the crap now to try and find a VCR. Remember what Bill said earlier, that nobody's used VCRs since 2010. I mean, it's 2010 now, and I'm pretty sure that VCRs were outdated for a long time ago. God, I, I don't even remember the last time I saw a VCR. Eh, it might still be being used. Oh, chandelier. Yet. No, no. Scooter. Rug. Cobweb. Go forward, damn you. Ooh, globe. Hmm. A globe. Relic from a time when the world was still in order. And second thought, there's probably not much difference. Yeah, I was just about to say, Jesus Christ, what, what would make you think the world was in order back then? Hmm. I can't see a VCR anyway. Damn it. Has to be here somewhere. Oh, hang on, what was that? No, oh, globe. I just cannot find this VCR. Oh, hang on, what the hell? Ah, oh, I didn't know there was a section. Is that Laure Laurel and Hardy? Oh, electronic devices. Got it. I bet I can use this thing to watch Mr. Oswald's tape. Mr. Huntington, I would like to take this VCR with me. I'll pay for it as soon as I've had the chance to get some cash, okay? Okay. <laughs> I promise I'll come back and pay for it. Okay. There's something else around here that I could pick up as well, but it wouldn't let me earlier. War of the Worlds by Orson Welles. Gonna get it. Mr. Huntington, I'm interested in this radio play. Unfortunately, I don't have any cash left. Only my messenger. I'll come back later and bring cash with me, okay? Okay. Okay. Mr. Huntington, I'm just gonna take your cash register with me. Okay. I promise I'll bring it back. Okay. Stupid old man. Alright. Let's go to the alien attack club. Because I need a cable. I know I need that cable. <laughs> 